hello youtube welcome back to my channel here i go again with a new set that fast i did these last week because i decided to risk it all and go to vegas for a few days you know i was safe and i took my precautions i just needed to get away like for real i'm starting to get so desperate to be out um and i wanted my long nails back and my little semi curve um so i'm just gonna show you a few nails because they were almost they were basically all the same except my ring finger i left those clears and used some of my glitter um the color i'm using here in the cuticle is a mix i made with young nails pink and a little bit of neon pink in there and mix it well and then the rest was also a glitter i mixed and it was um copper glitter gold glitter pink hollow glitter and some of my like it's also i want to say it's also like hollow or iridescent colored glitter all these glit two of the glitters are from my glitters and then the rest were from michael's the martha stewart glitters they're actually awesome for to do all this stuff um <clears throat> And what else and that's it and use my big boy brush i know everyone wants to know where i get this brush and um, i get it from my local beauty supply so if you're from the bay area or oakland you can go to generation beauty supply and get this brush there i have their two of their sizes a 16 and a 20 i think i want to say this one's a 16 and i feel like i finish so fast with bigger brushes Whenever I use little brushes, I feel like I take forever. But depending on the person's nail bed, that's the that's how I determine which brush to use. Because if it's just a really small nail bed, uh, number eight, number sixteen will work perfect, perfectly fine. But I feel like this brush would be too big for someone's little little tiny nail beds. Um. So yeah, how's everyone doing? Um. I know some of you guys are frustrated that I just suck. Literally, I'm feeling out my description. Like, I just want to get the video up and then I upload it and I just forget, you know. And then, since, especially when I don't voice over it, I know that you guys hate that I don't fill out the description. But for the most part, if you've been watching my videos, you should know basically most of the colors. You can find them on other videos where my description box was filled. But I will try and fill those description boxes as soon as possible. You know, even though I'm not working as like I used to. When I get home, I just don't want to deal with social media. I literally just want to watch TV with my boyfriend. Play with my cat. You know, be home. Because once we back, get back to normal, I feel like I'm going to be busy as hell like super duper busy like i used to before so <clears throat> that's why i haven't opened the online store because i want to manage how i'm gonna do it which means that i will be having to shorten my days and have to take at least one day off to focus on orders a week so i don't want nobody's orders to take longer than what they're supposed to so you know I have to get myself organized and right now is the best time for me to do this and you know so I can actually do this online store the way I want it but for the most part I feel like this online store will not open till maybe November just because it's a lot I have to organize and I definitely need to start maybe having like some type of office where I can have all the supplies at organize you know where i can set up my computer and all that kind of stuff so you guys gotta bear with me opening this small another small business which i already have a hair salon with um two apprentices and two stylists so it's a lot of work for me to add i just want everybody to understand you know just be patient with me you know i know it's frustrating and I mean, I know you guys love my work and I love that you guys support me and watch my videos, but I'm trying my best. I just want you guys to know that I am trying my best. You know, like for 10 years straight, I worked my ass off, you know, working 16 hour days, 
till I got my business. Then when I got my business, I did the same thing for a while. And the quarantine kind of stopped everything. So in order for me to get back to where I was, I have to, you know, be focused. And right now my folk, I'm not focused. I'm just like all over the place because there's so many things I want to do. But because of the COVID, it stops you from doing a lot. Especially with the things I've ordered. A lot of them say they will take longer because of COVID. They have to get, I guess, processed somewhere. If not, the products get sent back and all this BS, you know. I've never had to deal with stuff like that. But just got to be patient. And yeah. So hope you guys like this quick video of my new set. Um, the nail tips I use are your regular natural nail tips. But... You know how they have a curve i kind of may try to file the bottom straight like that the curve is just at the top i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> but hope you guys like my new set and i think i'm gonna be doing a new set next week just because <clears throat> mod alone sent me a bunch of acrylics and i want to see how they work so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching you guys thanks you thank you for all your patience and you know you guys motivate me to do bigger and better so just be patient with me bye don't forget to comment like and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on instagram same thing nailed by lucy so i did do a page for the products i have posted a lot of the stuff i will be selling you know on the page and the i decided to call it nail it like lucy so go check it out to so you can see all the stuff i'm gonna be having all right bye
crazy Monday I know it shows That I'm a little nervous I just realized I
shows that I'm a little nervous. 